We've all been eagerly awaiting this weekend, um, and I think I can speak for everyone when I say that we are so very happy to finally be here. This weekend has been in the making for a couple of years now. Uh, the pandemic forced plans to change, and we've all had to wait for this wonderful weekend to come. However, uh, I do believe life's events happen on time for a reason. Um, and while this wedding has been on hold, Will and Blake's lives aligned just right for Sweet Everly to come into the world. So the wait was very much worth it. Over the last uh, few years, I've had the privilege of getting to know Blake well, and she indeed is the perfect match for Will. She too lives in the moment with an appreciation for those small, real things in life, and I'm so glad that she has decided to forever share her heart with my dear friend. I've said this before and I'll say it again, if I lined up a million men and chose one for Blake, that's my choice. Right there, this man. This man. He's, he's everything that you, as a mother, you want for your child. And, and everything you want for your grandchild. Blake. You are the most important person in the world to me. I love you both more than you will ever know, and Will, I could not have dreamt of a person more perfect for my person. You are my absolute best friends. Cheers to the happy couple from your favorite third wheel. Most of you are aware, Blake's father was not able to be here tonight, but he was very, very much here with us in spirit. This is him speaking. He wrote it himself. These words were about three months ago. Blake, I was a very lucky dad. You always made me proud. I want you to have the best life in the whole world. He said, Will, I know you're a great person. You are a good family guy and a man who's going to take care of everything and you'll take care of those babies. I just think you should keep, I just think you should keep playing the guitar to them, to the babies, and to me. It makes the room warm and it makes the world better. This is such a personal experience for me and I am so honored to be standing here today. It's truly heartwarming to be among so many people who love these two. It's been quite a journey getting to this day, but here we are. I play it all back in slow motion. Willie, you were all in it with everything with your job, with your friendships, with our house, with your hobbies, with fatherhood, anything you decide is important to you. There is no half-ass in you. You, Will Jernigan, are very fully assed. <laughs> and that is just the beginning. You are motivated, brilliant, creative, ridiculously handsome, incredibly charming on a stringed instrument, and just happen to be the most amazing father I've ever witnessed in my life to our daughter. And I'm sure you'll continue to be to our second baby that's due in February. <laughs> And with that, I vow to always pause while rushing to keep an eye on the baby and make dinner with the other to slow dance in the kitchen. I vow to always stop when you're hurting and listen, really listen, and get in the trenches. 
I vow to be patient when you ask the same question multiple times. I vow to always sing along to your guitar. I vow to support your McDonald's enthusiasm. I vow to always cry when I hear you singing to our babies because it gets me every time. I vow to always first be a wife and then a mother. I vow to never quit, to never stop trying. I vow to never half-ass us and always be very fully asked. I love you. Leggy. When I started writing these three years ago, I'd spend some time vision casting about what I thought our future may look like. The kind of trips we'd take, the kind of house we'd build together, the kind of family we'd start. Fast forward three years, here we are in the midst of it all and having the time of our lives together. <laughs> Watching you become a mom has been the most joyful and heartwarming thing that I've ever seen in my life. You and Everly have taught me how to slow down and live in the moment. To stop and see the beauty in the small things again to plop down in the grass, get your bare feet dirty, and marvel at the simple beauty in the dandelions or the empty Deer Park water bottle in Everly's case. <laughs> I can't wait to keep growing this family together. I know that even when life throws us lemons, you and I will come out on the other side just fine because you are the toughest woman I've ever met. Because of your fearlessness, your dedication, your commitment, and your burning loyalty that I've seen you demonstrate in both your personal and professional life, in your recovery, and now in your motherhood. And because of this and our love for one another and our strength as a family, you inspire me to be the best version of myself. And in the words of our man, Jason Isbell, home was a dream, one I've never seen until you came along. Forever with you won't be enough, but from this day forward, I promise to make the most of and be present in every moment possible. I promise that if I ever find myself in a time machine with a chance to do life over again, I will only find you sooner so that I can love you longer. Will and Blake, since you've declared your vows, exchanged rings, and made promises before God and this gathering of family and friends, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. And you can seal the deal with a kiss. I think my favorite trait that these two share is just how genuine and authentic the two of them are. Will, Blake, you are amazing friends. You have a beautiful baby girl, Everly. And based on how awesome the two of you are, there is not a doubt in my mind that you are and will continue to be amazing parents. The sky is the limit for this great couple. I love you both, and I wish you nothing but a lifetime of happiness together. Congratulations, guys.